God bless you today. I pray that you're having a good day. I pray in Jesus' name that everything you are believing the Lord for this day, God will bring it to pass. It will begin to manifest and you will begin to see the power, the dudamus power in the name of Jesus in your life this day. Father, we lift up our oil. We thank you for the privilege of serving you, Father God. Now bless us, anoint us, appoint us. Let your heavenly fragrance be upon our lives, we pray in Jesus' name. Let everything that we touch, everyone we talk to, all radiate you, Father God, with your glory. We believe it, we receive it, and we expect to see it this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, I want to thank number one. <laughs> I want to thank Christina that sent in this from Las Vegas. Thank you, Jesus. I got this. And uh, also a beautiful note that she wrote in. And for the beautiful wool, I'm guessing this is. I'm not a great uh, textile person, but to me, when I picked it up, I felt the word wool. So I want to talk about that today. That is what the Holy Spirit put on my heart today. And I believe it is going to be a wonderful blessing because God blesses us with daily brand new revelations. Revelations, because that is the kind of God that we serve. A God that is giving us a brand new revelation every single day for whatever we need in Jesus name. I want to read just a little bit of this. She says, Susan, I, uh, I really hope you like these. Well, I do. I love them because they're very basic colors. And that's another thing that I wanted to just speak a little bit about. This color here is a beautiful sort of a taupe color is what I call this. Uh, and this is an also an earth color. So I love that because to me, I feel everything that I buy in the market, uh, in the store, you know, when I'm going out for food or clothes or, or whatsoever, I always like to touch the material. I like to touch the fruit. And I ask the Lord, is this for me? What does this mean to me? Because I believe that names, we uh, if we change our name, everything that we do as we seek the Lord for the spiritual value, he will give it to us in Jesus' name. And so this, I feel, is an earthy color. When I look at this, I think of the earth and I think how wonderful that the Lord brought us out of nothing. He formed us from the dust of the earth and that he is using us as his heavenly dust to blow us wheresoever that he wants to blow us. That was another thing that I just felt was so awesome. And this color blue, deep blue, recognizes to me, it brings to my mind the word of heaven because blue, when I look up and I see the sky, I think beyond these blue skies is where I am going and you. And so the deep blue recognize, is, is to me representative of the depth of the blue. You know, the blue waters in the ocean, the blue sky, it's all relevant as the Lord lets us know that he is taking us daily to deeper depths with him. And so I wanted to just share that. I've got a lot of stuff here. I probably will never get through it all, but it will bless you. I can tell you that because I was just sitting and I'm like, oh my God, oh Lord, oh Lord, I thank you. Thank you for your revelation, Father God. Okay, she says, I made these just for you. Thank you, Jesus. That was not just for me. Thank you, but I share this as the Lord gives me these words of this gift, that this is a gift for us as a body as well because it's the revelation of what he would show us that is for each of us because i'm just sitting here like thank you god i'm just knowing what this is for me but i'm sharing it because i know that it's going to take on a personal application for you right where you are before i read this i just want to give you a, a little report 
my father was taken to the uh, hot. Well, actually, he drove himself to the ER a couple nights ago, uh, and he uh, in the morning, and uh, after he had an appointment with his skin doctor, and then he drove. Uh, he had a problem with his kidneys, so he uh, could not go to the bathroom basically. So anyway, he went to the doctor. And of course, I went over there. He called me, and we were there all day in the ER. And then, then, then that night, they decided after several attempts to uh, put in a catheter, and it would just would not work. At I just went, oh my God, this has to stop, you know. So they decided they had to go in and do an operation, which was at nine o'clock at night. And so there I am, by myself in the. Re- in the waiting room, waiting for the doctor. And they said, oh, it's going to be at least an hour. Anyway, praise God, the, the the nurse came in. You know, this is so funny. I just have to share a little something. It's so cute how God just confirms his word. You know, the guy came in, the nurse came in. I'd never seen him before. And he says to me, the uh, whoever it was, one of the people told him what I looked like because he didn't know who he was coming in to get, you know. And so he says, they told me all about what you look like. And I said, oh, okay. And he says, yeah, they told me that you look like one of those people that's on television, that you're on television. (laughs) And I'm like, what? (laughs) And then I thought, duh, Susan, out of the mouth of a stranger, God speaks his perfection for each of us. God uses strangers. You know, it's so beautiful how God confirms his word. And I just went, Thank you, Jesus, that you just give me that word. Here am I in the hospital. Some guy's total stranger comes to me and says, a prophetic word. He doesn't even know what he's speaking, but he's speaking God's perfect will in my life. So I want to just encourage you that wherever you go, just pay attention to all these little nuggets that are on your daily walk. So anyway, you know, I just take this as a confirmation that, hey, God has bigger and greater things for this ministry. And uh, he's told me that years ago go so I'm just walking through it walking through it (laughs) and so anyway um, long story short dad was in the hospital uh, all day yesterday recovering and of course I was there early in the morning which is the reason I did not get a video out yesterday because I didn't want to just blow out a real quick one I felt it's more important to wait and do it the next day when I am together a whole lot better and I will present something to you of greater value, greater content that has a definite meaning. And I knew when I opened this package up yesterday, this was that. And so that's what I'm going with today. And that's why I was not uh, present with a video yesterday. Dad is probably coming home from the hospital today. So I thank you for your prayers in all along the way. Thank you so much. Those of you that did know, and those of you that did not know, I thank you for your prayers now that you're putting forth. And, um, so I'm just looking for good things. Uh, dad, dad is preparing to go back into the nursing homes and sing as he did with my mother for many years. And so uh, the devil did not want that to happen. You know how that goes. And but God, but God has other plans and great plans. And so, uh, you know, I just thanking God that he is going by faith. By faith, I'm believing and I know you're believing with me that he is going to make a full recovery in the name of Jesus and that he will be back on the ministry field because this is. Is not over (laughs) this is not over okay Susan I made these just for you sorry took so long you know I want to say God's timing is perfect so whatever it did you know take God's timing is perfect I was supposed to receive this right now because this word is for a right now word for you where you're at and I thank God for that there's no mistake no coincidence when you walk with the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone deals with it differently. She says, well, you were really in God's plan. I'll tell you that. 
Uh, she says, I hope it's still cold. Lots of laughs. Well, the temperature has gone up this week. It's supposed to be in the upper 80s, almost 90s. So, but it does not matter because I will definitely use this because I am all, I'm a little bit on the cold side more than uh, the warm blooded person. You know, I, I get cold easily. And so anyhow, I love you so much. And I am so thankful for what you do. I want to, I want to go home with Jesus but never feel like I have got it just right since 2012. I've known about him coming and I have been depressed with me since uh, I just can't seem to get it right. Well, don't worry about that because you know what? You're moving forward and that's what I do see that you are really, <clears throat> you are really your own worst enemy. Like many of us are we're, we're, we're most critical over our own lives. So don't even think, don't even blink. Don't even question it. Just get up every morning and say, thank you, Father God. I thank you for this day in Jesus name. I may not understand it all, but it's okay because you do. And you are the one holding the reins, holding the steering wheels, the steering wheel even of my car when I drive out in Jesus name. So uh, that's, I wanted to uh, give you this, Christine, uh, that I, uh, where she says she's asking the Lord for a job. She wants to fulfill her destiny. So I claim in Jesus name that that is going to entwine itself together in Jesus name, that the job and the destiny are married together, that whatever happens in Jesus name right now, we just pause and we believe for Christi Christine that this will be a job of the century is what I'm getting. That's crazy. You know, it's like we all work for things, you know, even us that have had the same job for many years. It's like we keep working, keep working to get that uh, advancement, to get that, you know, what do they call that? K24, K2, whatever it is, you know, where you're putting up the retirement and then all of a sudden that retirement, you know, that you've been putting in all those years for when you retire, well, then you've got that security. Well, I want to say, Christine, that God is your security and God will bring the suddenlies when you least expect it. So keep your eyes wide open for those suddenlies, girl, because they are at the door, I just want to say. And what you have given me is a word for you and for all of us as a body. So you have been a, bl a huge blessing to me. Huge. And I know it's going to resonate with everybody. And that was just my introduction. So I have to get into this because it's just so beautiful. The word for today that the Lord, there's no doubt in my mind, reminds me of that song the Lord gave me, that you, no doubt in my mind, dear Lord, you'll do the things that you said to me. I'm singing it crazy, but there's no doubt in my mind, dear Lord, you'll do the things that you said. What is it? I can't even remember my own words. And I wrote the thing. You taught me to uh, something and a da 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 Whatever. Anyway, the blessing of wool is where we are right now. <laughs> you see how you have to just take things chunk at a time. You can't just go, I remember everything unless you're in the presence of God. And then whoop, you have the mind of Christ totally at your uh, you know what I'm saying, right in, right in front of your face. So whatever. Okay, wool. One of the first material used for making wool, woven cloth. Leviticus 13, 47. Leviticus 13, 48. Leviticus 13, 52. And Leviticus 13, 59. 19, 19 also. The first fruit of wool was to be offered to the priests. Deuteronomy 18, 4. So I consider that sort of cool because I feel like I'm a priest of this little channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're all priests in some sort of, or, uh, you know, a, a job or another that the Lord gives us. So I just want to say that God is blessing us all with his first fruit. That is so beautiful. Just think God is giving you his first fruit this day. 
You know, it reminds me of the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering. Which fruit, which first fruit is he giving you today? That might sound like crazy to some people, whatever. Whatever, I'm just giving it out. <laughs> okay, the first fruit of wool was offered to the priests. Deuteronomy 18.4, the law prohibiting the wearing of a garment of divers sorts as of woolen and linen together, Deuteronomy 22.11, may like some other laws of a similar character have been intended to express symbolically the separatedness and simplicity of God's covenant people. Thank you, Jesus. We are the covenant people. <laughs> the wool of Damascus. Oh, watch this one. Famous for its whiteness. That's interesting. Think about this. Was a was of great repute in the tier, uh Tyra, T Y R I A N market. That's the market in Damascus. It was famous for its whiteness. Now think about that. Having a form of godliness but denying the power within is what the very first scripture that comes to me. You know, Damascus will be a heap in ruins. And all of the things of Damascus we think in the past. And the things of Damascus that we see. I'm going to take the word Damascus symbolically around each of our lives. What Damascus situation is somebody coming up against you that is an antichrist spirit? An antichrist thing that they're trying to just throw on you? And you're saying, no, get off of me in the name of Jesus. I rebuke this Damascus spirit. <laughs> you know? But it's funny. It says famous for its whiteness. Oh, that sounds like to me like something that looks really good, like the counterfeit, but it's not the genuine article. Was of great repute in the Tyrian market. Now, I, I, I'm not, uh, I don't have no clue. I haven't read that. Ezekiel 27, 18. So I'm just giving it to you, the verse there. If you guys want <clears throat> to take a look at that and ask God a little bit more on that particular area, how that relates to you. Okay, I want to move into the blessing of wool. Oh my, I have so much. I'll, I'll never get through it all. So I'm just going to try to blow through it here because of time. The blessing of wool. The virtuous woman of Proverbs 31 seeketh wool and flax and F-L-A-X and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. Christine, <laughs> you are working will willingly with your hands. Whatsoever God tells you to do, you just, poof, I'm doing it. There's a, if it's a little bit of work, if it takes me longer than it takes other people, if it's a little bit late and I think it's a little, it does not matter because I'm working willingly with my hands, Father God. Whatever you ask me to do, I'm doing it. I may not even get it perfect. It may have a few boo-boos, but you know what? I'm doing it with all all of my heart because you've put this on my heart and that is a word for somebody my hands are pulsating so we take it take it take it is all I got to say today come okay I wanted to read this verse the uh, the virtuous woman that's what you are Christine and and all of us in Christ we are all virtuous women thank you Jesus seeketh wool and I'm not trying to be leaving out the man <laughs> If you want to take it, take it. Seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. Hey, I get up every morning and I 99% I am with these videos, you know, except like yesterday something happened with the, that was something I had to take care of. Wool is a symbol of righteousness, of sins forgiven by the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And that's not Damascus white. That is Jesus as white as snow. Though they be like red as crimson, yet they shall be as wool. Isaiah 1, 18. So that shows me there's the counterfeit and there's the real deal. And Father God, we thank you that you have made us the real deal because we have bended our knee. We have bent our knee and we have humbled ourselves and we have said, fill me, Father God, use me this day. Put your words in my mouth. Use me out of my fingertips. Heal people, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And somebody's getting something right now from that one because it's going. <laughs> the Lord just shows me. Okay. 
the English language does not have a synonym for wool. Isn't that in interesting? There's no synonym for the word wool. There is no substitute for wool either. In a world, oh, this is so beautiful. Just think about this. There is no substitute for the Lord. You know, people would say, oh, there's this way to heaven. There's that way to heaven. No, 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 no. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh to the Father except by me, through me, with me. Okay, where am I at? Wool is, uh, there's no substitute for wool either. In a world of synthetic, synthetic, that means artificial man-made synthetic it's a synthetic thing it's got chemicals in it it's got things in it that's going to just make you sick possibly if you put it on or you eat it foods that have synth synthetic things in them artificial food coloring oh stay away from that <laughs> my son is always on me mother just look at the label look at the label he is so big on looking at the labels it's like every time you go to the market if it doesn't have a number nine on it on the fruit stamp you know that little stamp they put on the fruit if that last number is not a nine that means it's artificial <laughs> that means it's they've shot it with something you know it's not the real deal that's why it's so beautiful and the oranges are bigger than the organic oranges did you ever notice that and they're not even as juicy heck I have a neighbor here and she is married to a, a heart surgeon and she says Susan the best juicing oranges are the little ugly ones that don't have that big beautiful shape in them <laughs> we go on right okay uh here we are let's see in a world of synthetic material i gotta keep going and manufactured ideas that's another heavy one right there manufactured ideas like how many ideas are people coming up with that they think it's going to make the world better. They think the devil is coming up with manufactured ideas. Oh, he's sending his evil angels down here and planting all them terrible thoughts. Pornography. Come on, just come on, just come on. A little pornography here, a little alcohol there, a little thinking you're wiser than God. You don't need God. You've been successful all on your own there. No, 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 no. Manufactured ideas by man are only going to lead you to the volcanoes the lava with hell the river of hell and manufactured ideas wool is a symbol i love this for purity and superior quality because you see you have worked willingly with your hands so you are a symbol for purity and superior quality you're not synthetic you're not man-made you're not lifting yourself up but you are working willingly with your hands and you are a symbol for purity and superior quality that's what jesus is looking for today he's looking down and he's saying well all of this quantity but how about quality you know, that's what you look on all of these YouTubes. You can sit there and watch YouTube videos and you go, how do I get more subscribers? This and that. You know what some of them that have a lot of subscribers say? It's quality. You've got to have quality. You can put out a whole bunch of videos, but they better have something in them worth watching or people are just going to go for like 30 seconds. They're going to watch it and then they're going to go, oh, I'm going somewhere else. What, what in the world? This is nothing. There's nothing here. What is it? But we've got to be people that are pure, a symbol, a symbol, a stamp on our life. Would people come to us and they say, who are you? What do you stand for? Let me tell you, people look at my life and they're going to know. They may not like me. They may not agree with me. And it doesn't really matter to me because this is the stand that this channel, this person stands for is Jesus Christ and him crucified and him coming again. And the rapture. Hello, I'm going. You can stay if you want. Contrary to what some people think, or probably a lot of people think, I could add, pro uh, properly worked wool is soft and gentle to the skin, not scratchy and irritating. You know, it's interesting too, that the, uh, it's just a little thing I'm just getting in here. 
some people are allergic to wool. You know, you have allergies and possibly you're allergic to wool. But I just want to say that God's wool, when God gives you a word for wool, that you don't think of the physical thing of wool, but you think of the spiritual application, what this is meaning for you, because we're all sheep. Sheep have wool, <laughs> and if you are born again, you are a sheep. Uh, one of my uh, my mother-in-law was unbelievably allergic to eucalyptus. I mean, she couldn't even have it in her house. She loved it. I, excuse me, my nose is itching. Um, she loved it, but she couldn't have it. She could not have it, or if she put one thing of eucalyptus in her home, it was like her... She would just be itching, itching, itching the whole day. She couldn't stand this this anyway going on here. Properly worked wool is soft and gentle to the spirit. Not scratchy and irritating. Lamb's wool is the most gentle of all. Perfect symbol of our kind and gentle Savior. The Lamb of God, Polly, the Lamb of God. Let's just read that again. Lamb's wool is the most gentle of all. A perfect symbol of our kind and gentle Savior, the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus, that you make us soft and gentle like you, Lord. When they look at us, they're supposed to see you, Lord. They're supposed to go, that one is soft and gentle. There's no jealousy, no animosity, no hatred, no vengeance. No, uh, what do they call that when you uh, when you want something that somebody else has got? It's like you're uh, not lusting after that thing, but you know that word I'm looking for. You know that uh, we're not supposed to desire what other people have. Basically, envy, envy. That's terrible. Lamb's wool is the most gentle of all, a perfect symbol of our kind and gentle Savior, the Lamb of God. Polyester and other synthetic materials can never teach us lessons about the Creator. That's an Antichrist is what I say. Let us appreciate the wonderful gift of wool. The next time the temperature drops to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll be thankful for the warm protection that wool gives me, truly a comfort and a blessing from above. Okay, and then it moves on down here to some other things. So I just feel like this is a good place. There, There is a whole lot of stuff here, a whole lot of stuff here. But basically, the Bible has much to say about wool. It was as much a part of people, people's lives in Bible times as it is today. You see, God's word, and that's that's a good place to stop right there. God's word is everlasting. You know, uh, all of these things are going to pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. But my words shall never pass away because we serve a God that is a God of the now. He gives us such fresh, wonderful words right when we need it right now. You thought this was just by accident that you just happened to maybe just listen to this particular video right now. No, no, it's no accident. It's no coincidence. It's exactly what you needed to hear right now. Someone is depressed and they're like, I don't know where to go. I don't even know if I want to get up tomorrow. I don't know if I want to be here tomorrow. You know, odds are I don't. Then you need to just settle yourself down and come to the creator your god in the name of jesus christ you need to just stop and say i don't get it lord but i know that you do and i'm willing to go through this day and give you one more chance one more chance to help me make it because i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and you know the scriptures well whoever this is for you know the scriptures well. <clears throat> In fact, I do believe you're even saved. And so this is for you. You just are reminded by the Lord right now that this is for you. In fact, somebody's getting chills. That's a confirmation. Someone is getting a confirmation literally with your body. Thank you, Jesus. And my hands are pulsating. 
They have been off and on throughout this whole video, but right now they're really pulsating. So I thank you, Father God, as we just stop, Holy Spirit, it's time to stop and just let you minister right now, Father God, for whatever each person needs. Fill them, fill them, fill them. Use them, use them, use them. Anoint them, appoint them, and send them, and fill them, Father. Blow on them your fresh... Somebody just got that. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody just felt the wind of the Spirit just blow you back in your seat. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. As we pause and we just give you this time, Lord, you're healing right now. You're moving, Lord. You're doing whatever's needed to be done. What each person needs. Somebody's crying. Profusely crying, the Word says inside of me. The Lord is saying, somebody's... God is moving on a lot of people's lives right now. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> I thank you, Father God, that you're restoring. This is a year of restoration, and this is a year of completedness. The Lord keeps saying that over and over to me, over and over. It's a year of purity. This word was for you today, this purity. God is saying to you, I am making you pure. My blood makes all of your crimson, red sins as white as snow. The real deal. Thank you, Father God. I bless everybody now, Father. We ask that you go with us. You open doors that no man can open, close doors no man can close. You make all of our crooked places straight as a rod, straight as a rod. And you give us the mind of Christ. You renew us daily, Father God, in the name of Jesus, so that we will not perish, but we will finish that race successfully. So that when we stand before you, you will look to us and you will say, Well done, thou good and faithful, faithful, faithful. Someone's getting that. And my hand's just continuing to pulsate. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father God. Father, now I, I thank you for everyone that has given to this ministry, um, even yesterday, Father, <clears throat> the donations that came in, and uh, the prayers, Father. Thank you for those that are praying for this ministry to continue. Thank you for the prayers for my Father, and Father, for everyone that is believing you for a physical, emotional, spiritual whatsoever they need that you are doing it right now lord cancer we rebuke you in the name of jesus leave them in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i love you thank you for watching thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing this video. The numbers are going, going, going. I thank God for that because you are helping. You are helping and I love you. I, I thank you is not even enough, but I just want to tell you thank you from my heart. I appreciate you. I appreciate you in Jesus' name. Have a blessed, anointed, appointed day in Jesus' name. God bless you. Just let me